Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Dorothy, professional astrologer. You can find me on the web at nhastrologer.com. The link is in the text box below or wherever there is text around. I got the link, right? Okay, so today I want to talk about the week of November 7th to November 13th. And you know what, guys? Uh, if you share this, one person a week, I choose to get a free 20-minute session with me. So make sure and share this video and join my email newsletter list and another person also wins a free 20 minute session two chances to win a session all right november 7th mercury quincunx uranus for the whole day of november 7th this is where we're feeling very intense a lot of um we're feeling like uh, like rebels right and we really need to change the pace of things because um status quo isn't just going to cut it anymore so we're feeling this in our elections we're feeling this we can see this playing out in our government and what's going on out at standing rock we have people who are really creating um, this shift working on creating this shift that we need in the world clean water clean air clean soil and respect for property all of this is is being really stirred up by the astrological aspects that are going on these days. And I know this has been going on for months, but it's really starting to pick up some focus now. So I think this is really important to talk about. The moon in the sign of Aquarius on Monday as well. It's been in there since yesterday. So the moon in the sign of Aquarius um, has us feeling just more intellectual and we are we're all kind of feeling a little rebellious about certain things so we're going to show that at the voting booth and we're going to show that in our support for places like standing rock we also have on the 8th and moving on to tuesday the 8th the day of voting um, we have a number of different things that moon's still in aquarius but it's void of course early in the morning uh, on the east coast like 8 54 is a void of course and when it's void of course that means not a lot happens but whatever's going on just has a life of its own and it continues through the day the moon enters the sign of pisces at 4 45 what that means is that we have a whole different group of people voting in the afternoon, right, than we did in the morning. And so what goes on with that is that we're feeling a little more spiritual, not quite so radical. We're feeling a little more nostalgic. We'll see how that plays out. The point is, is I don't suspect that we're going to get any clear answers for a couple of days. It's just how I see it. Or it's just the moon in Pisces and all the aspects it's making throughout the 9th and into the 10th. It's just really, the hardcore stuff about it is, is that we're really not going to be feeling clear about much of anything at that point. So that's what we get from November 8th, 9th, um, and 10th. Now on, let me see, where did I miss? On uh, November 9th, early, I mean, late at night, if you're on the West Coast on November 8th, the uh, Mars enters the sign of Aquarius, and that gives us an additional and a lot of opportunities to really stand up for a cause that we believe in standing up for a cause we believe in um and just like what's going on at standing rock i'm going to say that a little bit today just because i feel that we that's really necessary mars is where we can is the energy of taking action that aquarius is where we can be a rebel and where we need to stand up for something that's bigger than ourselves you know mars is a very personal planet because it's usually about i am but how can I make a difference in a bigger cause? And this is what we need to look at, especially over the next seven weeks, while Mars does move through that sign of Aquarius, we have an opportunity to really break into something that we've never broken into before. All right, so later in the night, um, on Thursday the 10th, the moon moves into the sign of Aries. So when the moon's in Aries, again, we're gonna feel really rebellious. I'm repeating my words here because when we look at Uranus and Aries, we feel very rebellious there too. When the moon's in Aries, we feel actually not necessarily rebellious, I'll, I'll correct myself, we'll feel more self-focused and self-centered than ever. So for the next two and a half days, we, it's really an important time where we can do what we need to do for ourselves. And if we believe in something, then we can find the courage to step up and do it. Because that moon in Aries is very, it's very aggressive <clears throat> in a lot of ways, but it's also very assertive so we can accomplish things. Moving on to November 11th, it is Veterans Day in the country, but on November 11th, the moon is opposite Jupiter, square Pluto, trine Saturn. All of that means, in my opinion, 
is, you know, we're feeling like we really need to, the moon opposite Jupiter and Libra, that's all about relationships and where we need to step up and say what it is that we need in a relationship or a partnership. It's not always about your boyfriend, girlfriend, or spouse, partners, people that you're really, really close with. Something has to be said. We need to say something. We need to feel like we're being heard. When we make a, when it makes the square aspect to Pluto, this is all in the evening of the 11th, when it makes that square aspect to Pluto, it is all about you know digging in deep and saying, where have I been giving up my control and my power all along? And I need to take it back. And we can feel a little uncomfortable with it, but we can feel that we need to do something. We need to take control back about something. And then the moon will make a trine aspect to Saturn. So this is a great opportunity to solidify all those actions we've taken since about four in the afternoon, okay? All right, really late in the night on November 11th, Venus enters the sign of Capricorn. And when Venus enters Capricorn for the next three, three and a half weeks-ish, she is looking for stability. And all those lunar aspects I just described, um, especially when, if it comes to relationships, this is an opportunity for us to really step into a nice solid relationship and really see what the foundation of your relationships are about. and or if you're looking at working on one or you're working on one and you're trying to solidify it this is an opportunity to do that too it comes natural you don't have to force any of this but this is just the energy that's around all of us for the next three weeks venus in the sign of capricorn all right moving on to saturday the 12th on the 12th let's see the next major aspect we have is mercury moving into the sign of sag we have a lot of planets moving this week into different zodiac signs which does create an overall shift Mercury is in its opposite sign of Sagittarius. Not necessarily that the people always call it in its detriment to me. I just think you know, it's an opportunity for Mercury to even talk even bigger. Mercury likes little short communication, that Gemini energy, so to speak. But when it's in Sag, you can talk a long story. Quite an educational period, too, for the next three weeks. Mercury is the mind. Sagittarius is higher learning. Why not? We're going to take some classes, take lots of classes. Come see me. I have a class starting on the uh, 15th of November. It's a beginner class. If you've always wanted to learn about astrology, now's the time. There's still time to sign up whenever you're watching this. So come sign up. It's on my website. Or just message me. Now they come back into focus. And I'll send you the info you need to know. I'd be happy to have you in there. I've got about 10 people. Is there anything else I want to talk about for Saturday the 12th? I'm looking at my ephemeris. Let me see. The moon enters the sign of Taurus in the evening. And so we get to, uh, I think it'll be nice. This is a great evening to go out to dinner because Taurus, the moon in Taurus is all about good food, good smells, good company, things that we really need to enjoy. If you want to go out to, to dinner, theater, it's a wonderful night to do that. Saturday, um, Sunday, I mean, the 13th of uh, November, on this final day, one of the hardest aspect that we have here is we have the sun making a quincunx to Uranus. Now Mercury did it recently. Now the sun's doing it on Sunday the 13th. And this is where we're really, um, it's about making adjustments and the adjustments that we make create a transformation. And so we end the week in a very transformative period. We're building up to a full moon, which is tomorrow morning on the 14th. Separate video for that. But what's coming up on, on especially Saturday and Sunday, once that moon gets into the sign that she's going to be full in, we're really focusing in on the things that we value, especially our earthly things that we value, especially our water and our land. And again, go see if you don't know what's going on in Standing Rock, go. I'll put the hashtag in. You can go check it out. But go see what's going on there and see how you can help if you can in any way. And if you can't, be the change you're looking for in this world and make the change internally for yourself about something that's very important for you. And as the moon comes full um, on the 14th, I have a bigger forecast for that. There's a written forecast for that. You come check it out. But in the meantime, what do you value and how do you want to uh, add your little piece to the world and to history? All right, and this is a really important week. I've got so much going on. So I hope that is a little help for you. Come find me at nhastrologer.com. I have classes, private mentorship program. I do readings, and I'm all over the place. Come and see me. All right, thank you very much, and please don't forget to share. 
Blessings. Namaste.